Hello, Zach here, and I've got a special, well not special, it's a 1v1, and it's on the Arabia map between LZ Sunday in blue, he's playing as Huns, and we've got in green, um, DYT Rodriguez, uh, also playing as Huns. This is actually taken from the best of Huns, or the best of the Huns, it was a tournament that happened, and um, according to Cision, this is his favourite game from the tournament. And it's a pretty good one. It's not your usual game. It's very different. And that's what we like over on Zero Empire's channel. As you probably well know. Now, well, while things are starting up, I'm just going to let you know what's going on. Um, voobly. Voobly, voobly, voobly. Well, I've kind of got a little bit of a partnership now going on with Voobly. Um, if you actually play on Voobly already, especially in the random map lobby, you may have noticed that there is an advert to my channel in there and that's obviously going to provide me with a lot of traffic and that's obviously pretty good because obviously then I'm going to be getting more hits and more views and possibly more subscribers because obviously we want to spread the word as much as we can because this is an amazing channel and everyone should know about it. Oh, I'm just kidding. If you think that then that's very very much up to you but for me um, this is just a labour of love. However it does mean that there will be a few more hits to the channel and as a token of my appreciation to that I've agreed that I will help to advertise Vubly on my channel because not only is it a great client anyway it's the client that I use and it's the client that I've always used so the way that I'm going to be advertising for Vubly is through um, a link in the description of each video I probably sound a bit funny when I said link then um, a link in the description of each video and also a little advert maybe like a five second one that I'm making myself um, at the start of each video and that probably means that if you're using Game Ranger you should probably check Vubly out because I tell you what I'm on there for a start not that that's the reason why you should check it out but I'm on there and it's really just a great um, client I like it a lot. It's it's very good. It has got a few problems, yes, but I will be making a video as well to explain how to overcome those problems if they exist for you. Um, also, weighing up the pros and cons between Vubly and Game Ranger because I think that's only fair um, that you make an informed decision on what client you use. So anyway. I thought also that I would uh, let you know my current situation. I'm in bed at the moment, um, just chilling in bed. Sorry if that's a disturbing thought, but um, that's how it is. I couldn't be bothered to get out of bed this morning, and I've not even had breakfast yet. So I'm going to do this before my stomach eats itself, and hopefully provide a pretty interesting game. Because as you can see, LZ Sunday is actually moving forwards with three villagers now. What's he going to do with them? And really, this... Um, this video is all about controlling the map and controlling gold especially and this was taken from an AOC box um, AOC box provided recording so once again thank you to Cision and AOC box another thing that Cision is doing at the moment um, he's actually created a well he's in the process of creating an expansion for Age of Empires the Conquerors and that is going to be ready soon, so I'll be bringing you some footage of that, as well as some information about it as well, before long. Okay, LZ Sunday, rushing. And I absolutely love rushing. Um, not only does it catch your opponent completely off guard, they don't expect it whatsoever, but it's, it's just great, because it gets straight to the action. I mean, look at this, Sunday, kind of risky move. Going in with some villagers there, but there's a scout, militia as well, and Rodriguez is going to be harassed by this, and that's the idea of a drush, to do her, as much harassment as you can, and really catch your opponent off guard. I mean, Rodriguez isn't going to be expecting um, militias coming into his base so, so early on in the game. It's a good map to do it on, purely because um, Arabia is so open, the wood piles are obviously so far away from your main town centre, which makes them easy to harass. Also, militia then, um, alright yeah, they take food, they take gold, but the best counter to militia is probably going to be um, archers, because skirmishers do absolutely nothing. Spearmen are obviously not going to do much against uh, 
uh, Spearman aren't going to do much against um, Militia at all. And that leaves Scout Cavalry, which again aren't going to be so strong. So, Rodriguez forced to build a barracks there. It's going to be interesting to see what unit he uses, because obviously, um, that's a few Militia right there. And as soon as Sunday advances to the Feudal Age, Sunday will be able to upgrade those to men at arms and it's going to be a walkover. A few villagers dying there for Rodriguez and it's actually quite hard to attack with villagers because villagers don't auto attack. Um, if, they're, if they're stood next to a military unit they'll just st stand there and take the attack. Whereas military units like militia actually do attack. So here we go, going in again Sunday with actually quite a lot of militia there, I'm surprised. Also, you may have noticed, he's blocked off the gold piles from Rodriguez, and he's constantly harassing and making sure that no gold is going to be collected. But why is he doing that? Well, gold piles are... Well, you need gold to produce archers. Archers are the main counter to militia. That means that Rodriguez is forced to build spearmen, which suck compared to militia, and it forces him to build skirmishers, which suck against militia. So, really... Sunday cleverly doing this now, and he still needs to be careful. Obviously, militia aren't the strongest unit. I imagine he'll be advancing to the feudal age soon. But look at that population, 32 to 45. Sunday gonna have to advance pretty soon though, because he needs to upgrade those to man at arms. Uh, yeah, man at arms. Otherwise, they're gonna get cut down. However. Look how much harassment he's doing to Rodriguez's economy. Those villagers aren't gathering wood for more than a few seconds at a time, and obviously that means that Rodriguez's economy is being harmed. And if you look at the scores there in the, the bottom right, you can already see that Sunday's got quite a nice score lead. And considering he's got a lot of military out, um, that would assume that he's really harmed Rodriguez's economy by doing this. The whole while that he's harassing this wood camp, means that he can get wood of his own. He's also now advancing to the Feudal Age, ready then to start uh, upgrading his men once he gets there. And also, if you look, he's got quite a lot of food production, he's got a lot of villagers out, he's got a few on gold, he doesn't need that much gold because um, militias are quite cheap to build still. And there we go, look, he's kiting Rodriguez's villages around the map. And now look at that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. About 12 villages there that are being forced to stop collecting. And, oh, hang on, a couple of scouts going into Sunday's base. Um, not a bad move, however, villagers do out, out, I don't know what, that, what the word is. They do beat scouts um, if, if they gang up on them. Um, so scouts aren't that effective. However, they can do a little bit of harassment if he gets them into a nice little open spot. Now look at this, Sunday. Still kiting Rodriguez's men around the map. And I'm kind of curious to know why Rodriguez started chasing him around the map. Because um, he's wasting villager time there. Sunday then, now going to be in hot pursuit because he's no doubt upgrading to Man at Arms. Man at Arms are going to slice through anything Rodriguez can throw out right now and if Sunday can keep harassing Rodriguez's economy he's going to be into the um, he's going to be into the feudal, uh, castle age first. Now Sunday getting out a few spearmen that's obviously to counter um, Rodriguez's cavalry that he seems to be getting out. And here we go, Man at Arms coming in, and now Rodriguez needs to be a bit worried. He's already getting up a watchtower, so Sunday is going to be limited to the amount of time he can spend trying to kill uh, Rodriguez off. Rodriguez blocking that watchtower in, and now Sunday is going to have to get out of the way, otherwise he's going to get cut down, because Man at Arms aren't amazing. Um, but they are definitely a decent unit at this stage in the game now. Sunday moving forwards with more villagers. Don't know whether that means he's going to build another forward base or create some kind of wall off or something. We'll soon find out. Sunday then still creating spearmen just to head off these scout cavalry attacks. And Sunday really just uh, kiting around the edge of Rodriguez's base, doing as much harassment as he can. However, that's kind of failing at the moment. He's not managed to get much harassment in the last few minutes. However, Sunday's score lead is still there. Sunday as well, going with a watchtower right here, good move to make, garrison some units in there, and what have you got? You've got dead villagers, that's what you've got. There we go, so Rodriguez's immediate response to try and take out those villagers, that's, that's 
the best response to make, in my opinion, in any opinion, in fact. And wow, Sandoli using a few men at arms there. Desperately trying to get this watchtower up. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. His villagers have been killed off. And there we go. A little freeze, and sorry about that. Sunday then, losing most of his men at arms right there. And that just shows they're not the strongest of units. Um, Rodriguez could still come back from this. However, do bear in mind, Rodriguez has not gathered any gold whatsoever yet. He's still gold deprived. That means he's not going to be advancing to the castle age anytime soon. He's got five gold in the bank. Someday, on the other hand, 590. He only needs 800 food, and then he can get up to the castle age, which means he's going to upgrade to long swordsman or, or whatever else. Rodriguez then now getting out some archer and skirmishers. However, they're not really going to do that much damage at the moment. Um, he needs to mass them up for the time being. So, Sunday taking a little bit of a knock, he's lost most of his army at the moment, another watchtower going up there for him, but he's nearly ready to advance to the castle age, he only needs to get that food count up and he'll be there, um, so Rodriguez needs to be worried here, Rodriguez needs to do something, pull something out of the bag, he is obviously focusing at the moment on dealing with this threat from Sunday, but Sunday has already done the harassment, the harassment's already done going to be able to garrison inside of that watchtower and hopefully get some range over here. Going to keep moving forwards and build some more, but that watchtower has already gone up for Rodriguez, which means that Sunday is not going to be able to approach this area without worrying about being uh, killed off. So Rodriguez then, with this watchtower covering this part portion of his wood camp, and he's going to obviously wall that in. Makes sense, and now Rodriguez is going to well, possibly could come back from this. Um, he's got a fair amount of skirmishes there. He obviously needs to be careful not to lose them. Um, that wouldn't be good. But Sunday is continuing to pile the pressure on. More watchtowers around the edge of Rodriguez's base. That's in a whole expansion for sure. Um, but Rodriguez, Rodriguez could come back. He's still throwing villagers into the mix though. And obviously using villagers... Um, to attack your enemy is not such a good move because that means they're not collecting resources. Not good. So Sunday advancing to the castle age. What's he getting up? He's getting stables up. What's he going to be producing? He's going to be producing knights. Um, that spells bad news for Rodriguez. Um, knights obviously then going to be able to kill anything that Rodriguez can put out right now, especially skirmishes. Knights getting in there. Skirmishes don't stand a chance, unless you doubt, of course. If you doubt, then why not skirmishes work for you? But Rodriguez is not doubt, and Rodriguez will not be able to stand up to a heavy pummeling from knights. Let's see how many knights Sunday gets out, and if he can keep this pressure on. To be honest, though, I'm kind of impressed with this. Sunday's gone in with a good rush, and he's still managed to advance to the castle age first. Rodriguez hasn't even thought about it yet. He's not even started gathering any gold. He's not even attempted to take down these walls. And now he's going to be worried because he's just seen Sunday advance to the castle age. So what's Rodriguez doing? He's doing the only thing he can do. He's going all in, really. He's sending villagers up here to build a watchtower over this gold, good positioning on that, he's going to be able to prevent both gold and piles from being gathered from, and he's also sending his whole, our whole army across the map, you know what, forget my base, I need to attack Sunday before it's too late, however it is too late, because there's three knights running across the map right now, and Sunday is probably going to have more queued up, there's already some in Rodriguez's base, blimey he was quick there, and knights are queued up, so... Rodriguez, I don't know, Rodriguez isn't going to be able to do much about this now. If, if Sunday gets too many knights on the field, there's nothing that Rodriguez is going to be able to do to combat this. And they're already harassing Rodriguez's base, killing off a few villages as we can see there already. And really, Sunday did a great job with that early harassment there. And I don't know, I'd say Sunday, Sunday's got this, he's got a lot of knights. And no matter how many skirmishes Rodriguez gets out on the field, Sunday's just going to outnumber this. And he's going to be able to cut through whatever Rodriguez can put out right now. Bear in mind, Rodriguez still hasn't got any gold. And he's good gamed. So, there we go. Um, Kind of an example then of 
how Sunday has used prevention of gathering gold, early, really early harassment. Those uh, militias were coming out within eight, seven or eight minutes within that probably, um, harassing Rodriguez's villagers and causing Rodriguez to really just panic, um, kind of lose control. And ha he spent a lot of the first 20 minutes of the game not even having his half of his villagers collecting resources. They were just... Uh, chasing down those men-at-arms and militia that were constantly harassing and by the time Rodriguez managed to get on his feet again and start getting some army out it was too late because Sunday's already got the knights. So yeah I hope you've enjoyed that game hopefully me being in bed right now hasn't put you off <laughs> giggity giggity um, and yes I will see you next time.